clearing out here uh, in my outdoor kitchen I found something very interesting look at that well it, they're not called frogs uh, it's uh, something that's bigger than a frog but uh, when I was here the first year we saw one in the garden uh, with my neighbors, you know, my Bulgarian neighbors, and they just went mental. They said, oh, kill it, kill it. They wanted me to kill it. Uh, no, they wanted they wanted to kill it. They, they didn't want me to kill it. They wanted to kill it because apparently this uh, uh, frog is uh, very poisonous. Look, look at that. Um... I don't know if the poison is in the, the skin or where it is. Um, yeah, but but uh, I prevented them from... Oh, look, he, he hid in between the... I think he might have crawled in here to go into hibernation. Another animal. <laughs> it seems like they want to go... Uh, have animals all over my place that go, want to go in hibernation here. So, uh, since I am not, I'm definitely not a person that kills animals and it's not justified if they are poisonous. So, I will just leave that little, or oh, actually big frog. Where did he go? He's hidden in there. <laughs> I will just leave him there. Yeah, so if you see that, you should not touch it because it's poisonous. Yes, I had a hedgehodge that was also had a, a crawled into under some branches in my barn to hibernate there. But I was actually clearing out my barn, so I, I built um, uh, another nest in in another downstairs room in my barn for the uh, for the hedgehodge. So. Uh, just had to re rehome it. I have a film here on my channel when I when I found the hedgehog and, and um, uh, built a, a new hibernation uh, nest for it. Hi, little guy. Oh, God. Look at those ears. <laughs> hey. And look at those small little eyes. And that little nose. Little sniffy sniffy nose, yeah. I found a little I found some some larves here. Let's see if we would like a little larve. What? Would you like to eat that? <laughs> That's a yummy yummy little larve there. Wouldn't you like to have that one? Yeah. Yeah, he's sniffing it. <laughs> Look at that little nose. Yeah. A lot of snakes here. And um, and one, I think it was last, not this summer, last summer. Here, well this summer I found a snake. I passed it here. And then on my way back, I saw it was huge. It was from here. All the way here it was just laying, you know, like a a piece of hoax here. Uh, but it was not a, a poisonous snake, so it wouldn't have hurt me anyway. But uh, last summer, we had a, uh, I had a friend here working in my garden, and uh, a snake. Actually, I had some bricks there then, and uh, a snake was here uh, among the bricks. And it was one of these, the poisonous ones. And my friend straight away, oh, we, uh, I wanna, he wanted to kill it. And I said, no, 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 no. Not allowed on my property. We don't kill animals here. I mean, uh, the wildlife here around. Uh, I said, no, why should we? I mean, the, um, well, if you look, in, look at this video, you know, you remember, right? Um, and I said, no, 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 we should not kill it. Uh, we should uh, let it be because, I mean, the snake won't do me any harm unless I threaten it in somehow, in some way, and it will just move on. 
So, I mean, I just, uh, I, I, I don't agree with that, uh, p killing the wildlife. Poisonous or not poisonous? Uh, they will not just jump on top of me. I just have to be a little bit aware. And of course, the snake, uh, that's not a deadly poisonous snake. So that would have been different, I guess, maybe. At least I would have tried to rehome it, as I do when I find scorpions inside of my house, which I do uh, once in a while, especially in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Uh, I don't kill them either, or, you know, spiders or whatever. I just take them out and rehome them, you know, somewhere up there or yeah, a, little bit, a little bit away from the house. Yes, so... Why should we kill them? Let live and let live. That's my uh, motto in life. <laughs> live and let live. That's my belief. Well, one thing is for sure. When you live like this, you can't you can't be afraid of uh, insects and scorpions and spiders and invertebrates <laughs> in general like this little baby baby scorpion there <laughs> look at this little small small scorpion here i guess it must have crawled up from here yeah there are really a lot of scorpions here but, I mean, they are not da dangerous scorpions. They are, I mean, unless you are allergic or something like that. They are like, a, if you get bitten, it's like a bee sting. Oh, Ricky. Ricky, do you want to come in? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Ricky. Have you been out? Chasing <laughs> animals. <laughs> well, uh, here, here where I live, there's always, you know, a lot of animals and insects. That's um, my animals or the animals I have living in my basement. Hey, are you not going to move? Like the mama or papa that is outside. Yeah, so, oh, there is another one. Hey, there's another little cutie. Hey there. That seems also to be a kid. Yeah, you better watch out for the cat. Oh, look at the cat, he just want to take it. Better watch out. He's a really good hunter, my cat, so. You better watch up. Yes, you better watch up. Yeah. He don't want it to be cat food. They are so cute. I mean, they are so cool. I mean, they are as curious as me as I am of them, it seems. They always like to kind of watch. Yeah, you like to watch, don't you? Yeah, as much as I like to watch you, you like to watch me. Yeah? I am just about two decimeter away with my phone here now. Yeah, and you're just sitting there. There's another one. Asleep, apparently. Hello. Look, I can... There. <laughs> hey, I woke you up. Sorry. I woke you up. <laughs> well, this is the only mess they do a little bit with my dry, dried flowers here. Well, I certainly not don't live alone here up up on my mountain up here in my house. We are. Well, I think they are at least 
five, six, my cat, my dog, and me. So, we must be nine individuals here. <laughs> I did some research on, on YouTube. And there was a guy in Romania and he, he was putting out rot, rot, uh, poison to kill them. I would never do that. Um, I would, if I, I would like to try to re, uh, uh, rehome them <laughs> if I would do anything. Um, I rehome the animals I, I don't want. I just can't stand that, you know. So as soon as people, oh, they see spider, they want to kill it. They see snake, they want to kill it. Um, no, I believe strongly in live and let live. Why should it kill? I mean, they have just as right to live as we do. Are you hungry, Vicky? Huh? Oh, it's, um, it's about three o'clock in the morning and, uh, the crickets are still singing out here. Yeah, it's lovely. And, uh, are you so hungry, Ricky? Are you so hungry? <laughs> well, uh, uh, about the scorpions, it's almost guaranteed when you lift, you know, uh, if you have a, a wooden thing like this in the house or, uh, I mean, I had this one before in the kitchen. Uh, almost always a scorpion under there. But, um, I mean, they are, it's like I've heard because I never got stung by them. But it's like a bee sting, they say. And of course, if you are allergic to bees, that's not such a good thing. So, but otherwise they are quite harmless, even though it will sting. Uh, I mean, a bee sting stings. Uh, I mean, it gives you a little bit of pain. <laughs> uh, yes, so... Yeah, it's full of insects and animals and... Uh, life up here. Full of life, you could that's what you could say when you there are a lot of insects and animals, and yeah, it's full of life. Well, I guess I should go try to sleep now. Nighty, nighty. <laughs>